Game number two in Tomb Valley. Very interesting. Players complain about this map a lot, and then they always pick it. Something I'm still trying to figure out in my brain, but here we go. This is going to be game number two of MC versus Bomber. Up in the top left side, it is indeed going to be SK's MC. Down the bottom left side, it is going to be Curious. And if you're just tuning in this stream, thank you so much for putting up with my dying voice. I have been casting all day, and now I'm casting solo. And that means that is a lot more talking <laughs> per game because I don't have any backup whatsoever. So let's see. People are talking about the matches in chat. So anyways, what time did the stream start? We started at like 1 or 2. It's now midnight. Oh my god. Have I been casting for a decade of hours? For 10 hours? I think I've been casting for over 10 hours now. And with no breaks. There has not been a single cast where I have not been up there. And... Let's see, what, what are people talking about over there? Whatever, we're going to continue playing some StarCraft 2. So up... In the, well, I already introduced the players. That's when you know I'm tired. Up in the top left side, it's MC. Down in the bottom left side, it's Curious. Up in the top left side, it's MC. Down in the bottom left side... It's not Curious, it's Bomber! God! I quit! I quit! I'm... I, I'll, I'll quit after this event is done. How about that? How about that, guys? I'll, I'll, I'll quit after Red Bull gives me a lifetime supply of Red Bull. Whatever, I'm drinking some water. Hater's gonna hate. Alright, I won't quit. Kazi says I shouldn't quit, so... Anyways, it does look like, uh... I, I don't even care. I do care, but it's going to be such a standard opener that it, it's okay. So we should talk about you guys. How are you? In chat, tell me how many hours have you been watching this stream. Be honest. Don't lie. Because I know not all of you have been watching all 10 hours. So don't you even lie. Are you guys serious? Like, are you guys like actually... Because that's like a lot of 10s. Like, were you guys just like, okay, uh, mom and dad, don't call me. Um, girlfriend or boyfriend, if you have one, don't talk to me. I'm going to be watching StarCraft for 10 hours. There's a, there's a lot of 7.5s in there. And, uh, oh, a 30-minute Australian. Good day, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. So, it, I want to know, anyone on Australia, do you guys actually say good day, mate? Because when I was there... Like, the tourists would say it, but also a lot of the people that we met who were native Australians, they would also say it. So, I don't know, like, is it like an actual thing, or do you guys just hate that we say it? Um, not that much. Okay, I'll go with not that. What are you guys shooting? I thought, oh my god, for a second there, I thought these guys were shooting each other. And uh, he's letting the poor neutral supply depot burn. Some people just like to watch the world burn. And those people are bomber. <laughs> As he's going to be killing that poor neutral supply depot. And uh, it does look like MC's going to be poking up here. See what he's got going on. He does spot the bunker there. And that means he's going to have to back out. He could have actually ran those units around. But then that, that really kind of prevents you from retreating here. But uh, I will say that Canadians do say a boot a lot. And they can't hide it no matter how hard they try. And you can immediately tell if someone's Canadian just by how they say the word aboot. And that's fine. That's that's fine. I'm cool with it. Because I'm like such a boring white dude. I have like no accent whatsoever. So, yeah. I feel bad for anyone watching these VODs, by the way. So I do apologize. Just know I've been casting for a decade of hours, over 10 hours. I'm solo casting uh, my last match of the day. And I'm just having fun with it. So, whatever. If you think it's unprofessional, then you're unprofessional. Because a professional, a true professional would write a strongly worded email with 10 bulleted points on why you think it's unprofessional. So there, unless you're going to be writing me a bulleted list of 10 points, then you're unprofessional. I declared it right here. Anyways, we do have the three gateways going down, and I honestly never know how MC gets away with this. I mean, a lot of Korean Protoss will do this, just making gateway units versus barracks units. Like, I don't know how they get away with that. Because when I try that, I'm like, herp derp, go in, guys. And then all my stalkers are dead. My zealots are, like, all chasing one marine. My sentries are not covering anyone 
with their Guardian Shield, and I feel like my units are just stupid, and I like to blame them instead of my own micro capabilities, so just anyone recruited into the Husky Army, I feel is like... I. It's like the Boy Scouts compared to like the actual military. Like they're like, oh, we can build a campfire and make some s'mores. But other than that, you're you're on your own, Husky. And I'm like, thanks, thanks, Sentries. Like even the Sentries refuse to do their like menial damage. Now it does look like MC may be making. Oh, oh, did that scan spot everything? Let's spot. Let's spot if he spotted. Oh, he did. That is the money scan. That is like you're on, like, like the Price is Right, and you're like. Let's play the money scan! And you throw that scan down. Hang on, here comes a big, big attack. Can MC actually kill off these bunkers? That poor mule man, he died from the force field there. But uh, no, MC is forced to back out, not able to kill those off. And he salvages the bunker like a boss. He is going to hold this off quite easily. I guess maybe just making pure gateway units doesn't actually work. But we'll see if MC can manage to make something happen here. He just wants to kill off these bunkers. Not going to be able to do it, though. Anyways, as I was very importantly saying... It's like you're on the prices, right? And you like spin the giant wheel. And, but this time it's called like the scan of money. The, the money scan. This sounds like a really fun game, by the way. And like when he landed that one, he won like a new 1987 Camaro and like a, a nightstand. <laughs> oh god, it's getting late. Um, a new 1987 Camaro. I'm so stupid. Anyways, it does look like he's going to take down these rocks to potentially set up a, uh, a third third base right there. I can't imagine any other reason to do that unless he just really hates rocks and he's like anti Dustin Browder like this is his way to uh, get back at Dustin Browder. He's like Dustin Browder, you're gonna nerf Protoss? Oh yeah? I'm gonna kill every single rock in every single game I play while they, they cry out to their rock families but rocks don't move so they can't help each other and uh, it does look like he also hates his neutral supply depot MC, just so you know, this does not add to the units loss tab. So just just recall, just remember that. The bomber right now, he's looking to be in pretty good shape. Um, 51 SCBs to 55 probes, that's awesome for Terran. Two Marauders to lots of Marines, that has freed up a lot of gas for upgrades because he hasn't needed to get the Marauders out. Units lost, oh, I didn't realize the units lost is actually really bad for MC. That's why I'm like looking at the units tab and I'm like, oh. Uh, Bomber is actually doing extremely good in this game and may actually be able to take it which I know I, I don't do early predictions usually but it's tired and I'm like surely Bomber will take it in the next two minutes I'm like comforting myself and that my voice is going to be okay tonight but really this is actually going to be like a 35 minute macro game oh hey it's Rob what's going on Rob but uh, what Sheth and you cast it a Stoji Huck, and the result was? Okay, Huck 2-0 to Stoji. Game 2 is so close, and also uh, Stoji was telling me that... Have the, has Hip versus Bomber been casted? Okay, apparently he's really jazzed about that. But anyways, it does look like right now, as uh, Bomber is poking up here at this ramp, he is getting... His army delayed by the force fields, but really, what does MC have? He does have Blink, does not have Zell Legs, and he does have the plus one, but the upgrades, one attack, are going to help counterbalance that. We do have the command center going to be on the way right now for Bomber. He does love that three base play. MC needs to make sure that these Zealots get in front. There's that Blink 4. That's exactly what he needs to do there to make sure he can get away with this. Now, it does look like, yeah, he just started plus one attack, but that's not going to be done in time if, if, if Bomber right now decides to move up here and actually decide to engage her. Now, it does look like MC's going to be moving to the center of the map, but you got to be so careful versus Terran, because this is when they're going to be feeling comfortable, is in the center of the map. They are ready to dance, and it is a dance of death indeed, so you have to be very careful there. He is going to back out. Now, he is working on the Templar tech. I just saw it finish. You cannot hide that from me. Um, Right there. Yep, there it is. Templar Archives. And it was not a spoiler, you guys. You Every time you say it's a spoiler, it's not actually a spoiler. Now, we do see the Templar Archives researching Psystorm. Is he going to be going for Archons here? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Perhaps I could say Startail Curious, but no, it's Bomber, so I can't make that stupid pun. But um, I, I feel like Archons might be really good right now because the timing of what Bomber wants to be doing right now is he wants to attack. He wants to deny the third base. He wants to play the deny game. He wants to be on, like, Mori, where he's denying that he's the father. Here we go, Stim! Can the force field save him? Guardian Shield goes down. There's a couple of force fields. I don't know where this force field was landing. Feedback on the Medivacs. Is this going to be enough here for MC to actually be able to deal with this crazy amount of units here? 
and it does look like 20, almost 3,000 resources lost by MC, and I think that might be it. All MC has left here is going to be Stalkers, and uh, it does look now like, yeah, this is not looking good for MC because he's running out of energy. He can't force field that ramp anymore, and here comes Bomber. This is the mid-game timing. Look at this, right at the 14-minute mark. So powerful. MC tried to save this base, but it uh, may have been ideal just to sack that base and engage in a more favorable location once Storm was done. But you can see, now he has Storm. He's only going to be able to Storm once, unless he kills all these units. Nope, he killed two Marines. That's not going to help him out in the slightest. And that is going to be it. Yeah, MC really had to buy some more time there, so that means that this game is going to be tied here. 1-1. One, one. That does mean we are going to be going on to the next game. And so... Okay. Is this, is this the very last game? I don't know. They're, they're trying to tell me stuff, but I am going to go on to the next game. So give me... That's